And no one in their right mind would live in a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't have a right <laughs> <Obviously>. mind. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're meeting David. Hello. And David is a professional photographer who works out of his uh, his minivan and has done a fantastic job on very little money. I think you're really going to enjoy this uh, this tour and and learn a lot. It's uh, really creative ideas. So David, welcome to the channel. Thank you. And uh, how long have you been in your minivan now? Uh, I think uh, since October last year, so a good half year or something like that. Uh, before I was driving a Tesla, I was touring with that last year and it got totaled. Someone hit it. Uh, fortunately, the insurance paid me and everything, but I didn't have much time. I had to continue the tour. I was like, what do I do? And so I just bought this minivan, just basically just so I can fit everything in and continue my tour. And now I actually really like it. <laughs> and so I decided I'm going to keep it for this year. And yeah, it works really great. Right. So that's, that's great. And uh, what kind of tour are you doing? Uh, so because of the pandemic, people were usually coming to California and I had a lot of clients that way. And what, but, what were the clients doing? Oh, they came to California to uh, uh, hire me for photos. Like um, they're, they're mostly, I'm working in the dance world, so it's mostly dancers. But because nobody was traveling and all the dance events and stuff was canceled, um, I decided, well, you know, nobody's coming to me, so I just have to go to them. And that's when I started touring. I just uh, put pins on the map where, you know, big cities and lots of people are and started touring and people would uh, would be very appreciative that I come to them rather than they having to travel. So you've been able to keep busy and support yourself by traveling to the client? Uh, absolutely. It was actually uh, one of my most successful years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's funny. The <laughs> pandemic has hit a lot of people hard. And uh, the first half year wasn't easy. There were other things I went through, like a very bad separation and all of that. But uh, now I'm like, I'm super happy. So you had just thought this was just a, a necessity because of of COVID. Yeah. But you you say you might keep going with it. What what about it have you have impressed you so much? Um, I actually always wanted to travel the U.S. That was always a dream. I'm originally from Germany. I moved to the U.S. Uh, 17 years ago, and I had this dream when I was actually a teenager to use my bicycle and ride across the U.S. That is before I knew how large the U.S. Was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bike would not work. Um, but, you know, with my job that I had um, and the previous jobs, it wasn't possible to, to travel. And now I had the opportunity, actually the necessity and the opportunity to travel. And so I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And I actually really, I'm actually living what I wanted to do anyway. This, this is a big thing on my bucket list. And so far, I'm, I'm just going to keep going. There's so many things to see. Uh, I'm not busy all the time, so I have a week where there's nothing and then just drive around. And and the cool thing about it is like wherever I am and think this is cool, I'm just going to park and be there and enjoy a, sunset, a sunrise there. It's awesome. Right. <laughs> so I would guess that most of your work is done in cities. Uh, and how does the mini being in the minivan work out for being in a city? Yeah, so I, I do, I'm usually in areas where there's lots of people, you know, medium to, to bigger cities. So that's why I usually stay. Um, sometimes I stay with friends, sometimes I'm going to a hotel, but most of the time I'm just camping in the, in the van. And uh, a van is just, you know, like nobody, it, it's just like there's, hun there's hundreds, thousands of them in cities. Right. So, it's just tinted and uh, doesn't look like anything. And it's good that way because I don't want people to know that um, there's a lot of photography equipment in there right. as well. So that's why I don't have anything like with my logo or anything on it. Well, and, and <coughs> especially because it's a minivan. Vans stand out, but minivan, they just blend in. No one even knows. Yeah, yeah. A minivan is the most common, one of the most common vehicles, yeah. And no one in their right mind would live in a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't have a right Obviously. mind. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but the reason, you know, people think that is because they're so tiny. And you're not just living in it. You're running a, a business out of it that takes quite a lot of space. Yeah. Um, 
when I shoot, I'm outside. I'm actually going either in urban area, I go in studios or I shoot in beautiful, just, you know, nature. That's actually one of my specialty to take dancers out of the studio and put them in nature and shoot that way. So um, most of my work's actually outdoors. Um, and then the editing, working on a computer, that's something that's a little bit of a challenge, but uh, just like two days ago, I finally, I, I, <laughs> as you say in your videos, try something out, see if it works for you. I watch so many of your videos and like how people set it up, it just doesn't work for me. Like there's people that can sit flat on like on a bed and then have like a little table. I can't do that, I can't sit, it just hurts me. I needed a space to put my feet in, like I'm tall and I don't know. And so, yeah, I finally figured out the way that works. <laughs> and it, it's a work in progress. It always is. Always. Always so, is, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, how can people find you? Are you on social media? How can people find your work? Uh, yes, I have a decent Instagram. It's called Shark Cookie. Uh, it's kind of a funny name, but that was the idea of the business that it just, you put two words together that make no sense. And then you hear, it's like, what is that? What's Shark Cookie? And that's why you remember it. That was right. really the idea, and it kind of works. You know, yeah. you hear it once, and then it, you don't forget. Right. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, yeah, that's all I have. I, I don't really advertise anywhere. Ah, oh, TikTok, but that's just going to come and go. I don't think that's going to last very long. Uh, why don't we take a look around your minivan, see what you, how you've done it. Sounds good. Let's do that. Well, you spend an awful lot of time in front of a desk working. Yes, I and, do. <laughs> and this is your desk setup. It's very impressive. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty tall and I can't really work. I have this little table uh, that goes on the steering wheel, but that wasn't enough space. And I'm using a, a tablet. Some people still know that. So it's basically, you have, a, instead of a mouse, it's, not, it's just easier for photo editing. I've been using this my entire life. So... This is just gives me space. And the other thing is um, I can actually, like this is super stable. I can lean on it and just like, so my, my back's a little, has a little support. Um, and <laughs> this is how I make use of the stow yeah, and go yeah, space. I, I don't know what else to put in there. Uh, so I'm sticking my feet in there and I can actually sit comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks very pleasant. So I don't know. Uh, I've never seen something like that. And uh, I just came up with it literally like, uh, last week and just put it together. So I ripped all the seats out, everything, um, and dumped them because I wanted all the space for the equipment. This is all my chargers. It's just a cardboard box. It probably makes something a little nicer, but it works. Um, then there's my camera bag with my cameras and gear in there. And then below the three bins, there's my clothes. And then at the bottom is different equipment, lights, uh, sleeping bag and um, and then here's the battery bank we can uh, and obviously my tripods light stands and all of that mm -hmm. um, it's just easy access so I could just open it up I can put my batteries in grab the camera and I'm ready to go and then under this thing here is another big box with my studio lights and studio equipment mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm using the space here. Yeah, this is virtually all uh, part of your business, everything. Yeah. You have almost no personal possessions in here. I found that I don't need stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just, yeah, yeah. I don't need a lot of stuff. Uh, dash cams, I have four total, and I really recommend everybody getting dash cams. It saved me. As I said, my Tesla was wrecked. It was actually parked. Someone hit it. And took off, so it was a hit and run. And uh, with the dash cam, we were able to find him, and uh, the police was able to find him. And the insurance said because you had evidence and were, that led to finding the person, we're not even charging you the deductible. So they waived the deductible. Well, you've got it, uh, and it was really, really uh, cheap and inexpensive to <laughs> to equip it. Yes. Yeah, so I. I do, I'm actually good at with woodwork, but I don't have a shop or garage. So I'm like, what can I do that's really simple and doesn't require a lot of tools? And like Home Depot has these uh, shelves, these metal shelves. And the way they work is you can, they just have these stands, these four stands, and then they go in and there's a little uh, conical plastic piece. You put that in and then it's, it's, it's stuck. And so basically I was able to get the leg all the way down in that lower end and then higher on the front end and level it out. 
and everything is bolted. So that's why I cut out the, the liner here. I wanted it to be safe in case I'm getting in an accident. I want the stuff to like fly around. So everything is kind of bolted to the frame of the car. Mm -hmm. I know this vehicle will break down sooner or later and I'm kind of prepared for that. Um, so everything I can move into a new Odyssey or a replacement vehicle in probably less than a day. So nothing is like permanently made. I mean, this was coming from an area where there's a lot of snow and rust and, you know, salt. So the underbody looks really bad. <laughs> right. But the engine has 180,000 miles, just run super smooth. It's a Honda. It's a Honda. That's all you got to say. I like to keep it simple and, um, yeah, it has what I need for the job and uh, I'm happy. Good. That's what counts. <laughs> I see you have solar. How much solar do you have? So I have two 100 watt panels, 12 volt panels, and I don't use a charge controller because uh, my battery system already has a BMS, so I don't need that. So they're directly connected. Right. So you have you have big lithium bank. Is that right? Yes. Uh, yes. Lithium, iron, phosphate. Okay. Now, how do you go to the bathroom? Well, since I'm mostly staying in cities, um, I just go to the bathroom when I go shopping or sometimes um, uh, when I shoot like indoors in a studio, there's bathrooms. So I, I actually never have trouble finding bathrooms. Um, and with showers, uh, since I'm driving a lot, I'm traveling a lot. So, you know, the truck stops, stuff like that. And, you know, wipes, just, you know, the way you showed in your videos. Right. <laughs> It's actually funny how simple it can be. You, you think like, how do I do this? And it's like, no, it's actually very simple. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's very, very simple. Well, so you have almost, you have very, very little money into your setup. How yeah. much do you think you've got invested here? Well, I paid too much for the van because it was a dealer. I was kind of in a, a rush. I had to get something that was the only one available. It was 4500 for the condition, the rust and everything. That was too much. And then what I put in... I mean, the shelves were like 80 bucks, 50 bucks each. Uh, I have a small fridge, a 12 volt fridge, which is, I don't know, forgot, 150. A small microwave, small coffee maker, uh, a small things. I think <laughs> the, wood, the wood panel, I should have gotten something. I don't know. I, I paid 50 bucks for this piece of plywood. <laughs> it's just dumb. <laughs> it's for the bed. Yeah. And then, well, the most expensive part um, was the battery bank, obviously. Sure, yeah. Um, I think that uh, totaled a little over, like, I think 1200 the whole thing, the whole setup. So uh, these metal shelves come in different sizes, and I actually have three different sizes here. This is the smallest one in the front. That's where is, uh, I got my fridge, a coffee maker. I, I just love, coffee is my thing. That's why I have a coffee maker and a microwave. So this is like where the front seat was. And then um, I got uh, the next shelf. It's just filling the space here. First, I wanted to keep it open, but then I realized I don't need to get in from both sides. So I just right. put the medium size that fits in. And then the back, as we've seen, is just the large, uh, the largest shelf. David, thank you so much for sharing your home with us and what are your inspiration you are working from the road, living your best life. Uh, Really, really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Great. So, folks, I know you've been inspired by this. You've seen lots of good things that you can you can learn from and use. Uh, if you got any value out of this, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.